Alright, hi guys. Um, this is like the new way of me starting the vlogs. Um, but yeah, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, subscribe. Anyways, it's been a really crazy day for me today. It definitely has been a really crazy day. Um, I started off in the morning, waking up at 6 50 in the morning. I had to go to the DMV, waited in a very unnecessarily long line. I think for about like two hours, just that was just to get the number. Then it was another hour and a half to pass through everybody. Basically, it was an unsuccessful trip to the DMV, and it wasn't, it wasn't what I expected it to be. So now things have to be a little more rushed, and I have to, ugh, I just have to do a lot more things than I had anticipated to do. Uh, it's, it, it, I put the blame all on myself just because I kind of was pushing I kind of was pushing driving to the side a lot and I prioritized a lot more things so and there's no one else to blame but me for that um, but I basically have to take my driving test within the next week or so or else I have to start all over again which who really wants that I don't want to do that um, so yeah I'm gonna have to do that <laughs> like I said I've been pushing it aside because I just like, that's the last thing on my mind that really is the last thing I have other stuff on my mind that take up more space than than that so now I have to do that and also it's raining outside which I wasn't expecting because it's like the second day of spring yesterday was cloudy today it's raining which uh well actually is it raining it's not raining anymore but oh this lighting though um but it was raining when I got there and pouring I mean pouring why is it pouring it was pouring it was raining it was just an overwhelmment and on top of that I started not feeling very well at the DMV and I'm like I'm not gonna like get out of line and then have to go to the back of the line which was outside in the pouring rain no 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 I'm not gonna do that uh, but yeah anyways now we're here an uber a two-hour uber ride afterwards because there was a lot of traffic as well we're here at home and I think I'm gonna head out again but no no more like no more of that stuff I think I'm just gonna go to, I think we're gonna go to Target and I think I don't know what else we're gonna do I have to get to the dry clean this entire bag of clothing it's clothing that I can wear that either is sturdy because of the animals it's sturdy because there's ketchup stains on it it's sturdy because of other stuff or it just have used it too much it deserves a good cleaning the Balmain jacket is there which I'm a bit nervous as to how they're gonna clean it because that jacket isn't available anywhere anymore it's discontinued and also if I sound a little bit weird it's just because the 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 idea of driving just kind of sunk in now just because like i said i've been pushing this to the side for months and i'm now at the point where everything has to be done quickly again no one else to blame but myself for prioritizing other stuff um i accept full responsibility for that so i think that idea has sunk in and it's made me a little bit more fidgety and a little bit more nervous um but i feel confident ish I feel confident ish. I I think it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Um, I have like a driving lesson I think on Friday and then Saturday really well for me, really early in the morning. I know there's people out there who wake up at five AM, but for me, nine AM is early. I typically wake up at nine AM, so I'm gonna have to wake up at eight AM now. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun fun ride. I will say that. I will get back to you on how it is, just because obviously you can't film there. Uh, but yeah, now I'm happy to do a little st stuff a little more quickly. Um, the one thing I'm not going to do quicker is my album. So I'm still working on that. I'm still, um, I'm still adding a couple more songs in there. It's almost done. It's almost done. Don't worry. The album is almost done. Uh, I just need to do a few more songs that I really want to add into the album. And I want to go through the track listing. I want to get other people's opinion on the track listing. Do all the stuff that is business wise about the album as well so i'm a busy person so yeah it's cloudy it's i i'm sorry I just, it's just it's been a while since the vlog so i'm sorry if i can't get into like my mojo i lost my mojo <laughs> i lost it i lost it i lost it it's, it's too much smiling i've already smiled way too much in this vlog let's continue with the day also, my outfit is this actually, this shirt, I've never shown you guys this shirt. This shirt is the uh, Bloomingdale's X Super Mario collection. It has an embroidered 8-bit Mario there. Um, there's a ton more stuff in that collection that I still want to buy because I absolutely love Nintendo. 
this was one of the stuff I could buy that day. I'm definitely gonna go back for more. These, I think, J brand trousers, which fit really well. The Fendi shoes, and I think my Barney Cools weather jacket, because it's still, it's still kind of cold from the rain. I don't know if it's gonna rain anymore, so better safe than sorry. I think we're gonna go to Target, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know what my schedule is, but I think so. I'm not sure, but let's go. So, um, I came back from Target a little while ago. I'm here with the cat. She's just chilling with me. I'm currently waiting for my iPad to finish charging just because I have a lot to do on that iPad today. Um, but she's gonna be here with me for the majority of the night. Then I'm gonna put her in her bed to go to sleep. Uh, because she doesn't sleep with me, she sleeps on her own bed. <laughs> um, I feel like if she would sleep with me, I would probably squish her at one moment and that would not be good. So she has her own bed where she sleeps in. So, yeah, I'm just waiting for my iPad to finish charging so I can get stuff done. There's her tail. And I have, like I said, a lot to do, mainly with driving, which I'm, I'm not, it's not that I'm nervous about it. It's just more that it's something that I've been pushing off for a long, long time. So the fact of actually finally, this is a horrible angle. So the fact of actually, so the reality of actually doing it and getting it actually accomplished is just a little bit dawning on me. Hold on. Worst thing. There we go. So yeah, the idea of getting it done is just a little bit more dawning on me. And it's just a little bit more ooh on me. But I'm going to get it done. I'm going to get it done. I'm going to get it over with. It'll be another hurdle that I've gotten through. And it'll be fine. Everything is going to be okay. Um, so yeah. Now she look what she's doing. Just look at what she's doing. She is just spitting. She's now licking my, my blanket. Shamelessly, I might add. Uh, but yeah, I get to film another episode of There Are No Cameras, uh, which I still don't know what I'm going to do. I still don't know what I'm going to do for the next episode, but um, whatever I come up with, it's going to be good. Alright, so it is now like 11.50pm. Everybody's asleep. I'm still awake. I am a nocturnal person. Uh, I realize that I get a lot of a lot more things done at midnight than I do in the daytime. In the daytime, I do get stuff done, but not as effectively as I do in the midnight. I don't know what it's about. I'm sure it has to do something with my mind and how my mind works and how my body works. I don't know, but I just know that I'm a lot more productive at midnight. I think it's, uh, well, you know what? I think I do know why it is. I think it's just because nothing really is going on anymore around this time. Like nothing's going on on TV, nothing's going on in the streets, nothing's happening. Everybody's kind of either at home or heading home or they're sleeping. So everything is kind of calm and serene at this moment. So I just think that in my mind has a lot more space to be a little more productive with certain things. So I definitely do get a lot of work done right now. Also, um, I forgot to mention one thing. So um, while I wasn't vlogging, I actually purchased the, the film The Shape of Water on uh, iTunes and I watched it. Honestly, I regret not watching it in theaters. I really, really do regret not watching it in theaters. I, it won Best Picture at the Oscars. It, like, totally deserved. Totally deserved. That Oscar was totally deserved. The movie is incredible. I absolutely love the film. I just... It, it does, it reminds me of like a, a, um, a really old sci-fi romance film and I just, I just love it because it's so beautifully made and the storyline is incredible and it's amazing. Um, the one thing I will say is that Sally Hawkins was robbed from the Oscars and the Golden Globes and the SAG Awards. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. She was robbed. I truly, after watching... I watched Three Billboards and I watched The Shape of Water. I'm on, a, I'm, I'm on like this like little tour of watching all the Oscar nominated films after the Oscars. So next is I, Tanya and Lady Bird and Call Me By Your Name. Um, but for now, I've only watched Three Billboards and The Shape of Water. Honestly, I just, in comparison to Three Billboards, The Shape of Water is better by a hundred times. I just, I think Three Billboards, I think it has its own audience and that audience isn't me. I'm not a part of that audience that enjoys those kind of films like Three Billboards. I just personally, I don't know, I just feel like it was left a bit unfinished, but I do know that people like cliffhangers like that. 
I'm not about a cliffhanger in a movie. I want everything to be resolved by the end of the film. Unless they're planning to make a sequel, then leave it as a, leave it as a cliffhanger. But if they're not planning to make a sequel, I do not like a cliffhanging ending. And um, I just I just realized I spoiled it for you. Oh, uh, it has a cliffhanger at the end. I'm just gonna say that. Um, but The Shape of Water was just such a beautifully made film, and it was by Guillermo del Toro, which honestly I knew for a fact was gonna be great. All of his films are amazing. I've seen quite a few of his films that he's made. I think the first one that I saw of his that I remember was Pan's Labyrinth. And I just remember being so mesmerized by the monsters and everything that was just going on in the film. It Like, his movies are always so beautifully made and beautifully detailed. So this film was no exception and I absolutely loved it. I loved it. I would watch it again. I am hoping to go on a long plane trip to see this film <laughs> on my iPad. That's the only thing I'm hoping for right now. Is to go like on a four hour plane trip like to New York or to Miami or somewhere else and just be able to like sit down and watch the film again because I have no time in my day to watch that film um, but yeah I absolutely loved it next is Lady Bird then I, Tanya, then Call Me By Your Name. I'm not really into, like, Darkest Hour <laughs> or Phantom Threat. I'm not really into those kind of films, so uh, I'm going to skip on those, but I'm going to watch the other three because I didn't see them when they were in theaters, and now I totally regret it. Um, but yeah, I if you haven't seen The Shape of Water, I totally recommend you go see it. Um, it has a little bit, it has a little bit for everybody, I will say that. It has a little something for everybody, so I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Uh, and also tomorrow is a busy day because I have to edit the There Are No Cameras episode that I've yet to film. I'm going to be honest, I haven't filmed the episode yet. Um, I know what I'm going to do now, but it requires me to do it in the daytime, so I can't do it right now. So I'm going to wait till the daytime. And also tomorrow I'm going to do another really long recording session. I have a lot more songs that I've written that I want to get recording and I want to get to creating and composing and producing. So I'm excited. Tomorrow is going to be a really exciting day and I cannot wait. I might vlog. If not, you guys are going to get a sit down video that I've pre-filmed. I pre-filmed I think three or four sit down videos just to go out whenever I can put up put out a video. They're really interesting videos. I will say that they are really interesting videos. And I'm currently in the process of creating a really experimental video that, um, it's a trend that's been going on on YouTube, but I'm going to do it in my way and I'm going to do it in my style in a way that I don't think anybody has done it yet so far that I know of. If anybody has, um, I will definitely credit them in the video, but if they haven't, um, I, 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 I'll credit myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like late at night, so I'm going to get to cracking on the stuff that I have to do. Um, but aside from that, I'm going to end this vlog here. It feels short, I'm sorry, but you know what? The better vlogs are just a day ahead of us. No, that's not that's not the quote that I wanted to say. The better vlogs will come tomorrow. <laughs> I think that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not sure what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to make like a really inspirational quote about vlogs, but it's not coming out well. Anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed it, give a thumbs up or you're dead to me. Subscribe or you're dead to me. Comment down below or you're dead to me. Share the video or you're dead to me. And I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.